Oh, before I go, uh, I couldn't resist having a bit more of a play with this. So what I've done is rig up a couple of lights that tell me when the door is uh, closed or when it's open. And I've done that using a little circuit like this, uh, which just uses a block attached to the frame that when it reaches a certain position can pass a redstone signal through to a redstone wire, which then gets routed up to the lamp. Very simple. Uh, but I've also uh, tried doing something with an input for the first time with these computers and I've taken a button here and I've run that down as a redstone signal here and brought it in as another colour, in this case magenta, uh, into the computer which I can now test for as an input and I've added a little bit of code that is running currently on this computer. So first of all I ran a loop uh, that tested to find out what value magenta came back as which was here so it just repeatedly output what the value of the um, IO controller was and I found that it was 16384 as the bit to test for. I then wrote a little routine that waited in a loop for a button so it, it does a begin loop gets the value of the controller tests it for that bit using an AND, so it puts that value on the stack, ANDs it with the result of that, which will only return true if that bit is on uh, from the controller, so therefore that the button's pressed, and it goes into a loop waiting for that. Um, so that's a simple uh, command that just continually waits until it detects the button, tested that, and then I just tested that uh, you could then wait for a button and then run the open command afterwards. Uh, I then written a, a quick command to loop repeatedly and infinitely. Um, so it does a do loop, waiting for the button. If the door is open, then uh, if the door is closed, so the position variable is set to zero, uh, then uh, it will do the open command. Otherwise, it will run the close command. And as those were already defined as words, um, didn't need to write any more code for that and then just go back into the loop. Now this is a nice example of how forth grows as a language using words so it becomes nice and easy to read so if then it opens otherwise then close. Um, so yeah the computer's now stuck in an infinite loop which isn't great I can't do any more programming I'd have to go down and reset it but it's effectively running the code I would need for the door so if this was in the world now you could just have a simple button that when you press it if the doors uh, open it will close it and it doesn't matter if you hammer that button in the meantime because it's now running through the um, cl close code so it's not listening to the button at all um, and then when it's finished closing it will stop and the loop is now waiting for a button press again and if you press it again it will then say oh I've already closed so I now need to click off an open command. So it shows how you can make a very simple user interface using a single button that will now perform a complex series of commands um, with some intelligence built in. Uh, the extension of this would be to take these signals that is currently going to the lamp and to add those as inputs uh, as I described uh, previously just before uh, stopping the last the video earlier um, so that it will uh, open the door until that's uh, open. It could just be a validation step, form eight steps open and then check that that's there. If not, flag an error condition and set another variable and stop doing anything else so that the interface uh, wouldn't try to keep opening or closing the door. And I think that might be the approach I would take rather than trying to get more intelligent. Uh, the other thing it could do is you could repeat this type of structure along the line um, so that uh, you can actually have the computer read off what position the door is at at any point. Uh, so you could say if it's at this one, move to that one, move to that one, etc. And it knows exactly the position. So that's the sort of thing um, that you may do if it was a real world control system. So rather than um, just waiting for an event when a thing reaches a certain point, you would actually check the current status of things. So it's the sort of thing that um, factory machines and things would do all the time where they have feedback loops uh, reporting on where something is rather than where the system thinks it is to have a constant check uh, against the real world uh, against the virtual um, expected world uh, and that's it uh, so yeah it was just a quick update just to show uh, i've added this bit in with an input um, and used the loops in the program to then determine whether to do a close or an open with a single button and to give some feedback to the user as well based on a simple uh,
key and lock type approach with a redstone signal passing through it. That's it for now. Uh, a very quick video this time, and uh, see you later. Bye.